G'day, Tess here. I thought I'd give you a bit of a run through what we check on our trucks on a daily basis and a weekly basis. Hmm. First thing we've got to do is get the keys. Basically looking for anything odd looking. It's any extra water leaks, oil leaks. Um, see there's a bit of moisture down here. It's come from the... I don't know. That is an oil leak. Which, oh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll okay. get Beautiful. She is due for a service, so... It's down a little bit, but be fine. Bit loose. You see that one's oh, didn't want it any looser than that, but that's fine. That one's not too bad. It's starting to crack up already. So I probably need replacing soon. Brand new belts. I haven't put them on there a little while ago. Anyway, now yeah, I know she runs out of coolant. Not too bad, but I'll just give it a bit of a top up. See, oh, yeah, she's pretty full. I'm a bit surprised, don't need much at all. Consider how much. 
is if she was still there. Oh, sorry. new tank bit of a big job be out of service for a week or so so get it done before the next harvest before next summer tabs in the right spot very handy everyone hates them but i find them handy i hate them too but when trying to change tires there you see these are these are called ten stuff these won't slip but they will come loose if you're not careful very rare but they can do it now these are called spiders this is the oldest probably more style problem with these and this one hasn't happened, but it can. If you see marks like this, this, is, this tire's been on and off a couple of trailers in the last couple of weeks, so paint's been moved around with different rims and stuff like that. These, these will slip. Now we, we always try to keep these valve in the middle so we know if the tire's been slipping or not. I haven't put the yellow tags back on this one, but because I've changed this one over and I've been checking the nuts. And I've checked the nuts quite a few times. And the, see this one's got the uh, tags, this one hasn't been changed. So I'll be putting these yellow tabs back on. Now what I'm listening for, if the tyres have a very different sound. Now these are, oh these are brand new, but you want that hollow, you want that kind of um, these are oh, a little bit old, so it sounds a lot of different. But you don't want a real doom, yeah, totally different with uh, being flat or lost pressure. And I quite often check them towards the end of the day or at the end of the day, and I'll go around and I'll check the hubs as well. So that's, if I pulled up somewhere, this quite often, you know, I'll go around making sure the brakes are not hot. And that's all the way around, that's on the prime mover as well. See, this one's got new tyres. I don't know if you hear that, but there is a slight difference. Nothing to worry about, so that's... If it's worse than that, it'd be a big difference, you would totally notice. And, you know, stand back and look for valves and see if they've been moving or... You know, anything sus. So this is the uh, tensub spare. See that's got the rim, that's where the wheel nuts go through. Uh, 
Now this one here is a um, spider tire. So totally different rims. You can't change them around. So this one can only go on the spider rims. They call them spider rims because from the center they spread out like a spider, I suppose. I don't know why. Or it might be the company who's first made them. Be one of the two. I have no idea. Anyway, so you can see the difference. This one's completely hollow all the way through. And the tire actually, uh, the lugs clip onto there, a bit there. So that's the uh, edge there. Off a greaser slider. Got a ring cleaner. slightly different, don't you? I'll have to put some air in that later. Right. So that's basically the lap of honour, what I do. The bonnet gets rolled every week regardless. Um, I I do check the oil and I do check the coolant every week. And that's usually the first start uh, as part of my free start. And I'll go over and have a look. Um, any problems? Now, a lot of people roll their bonnets first thing in the morning. I don't because I, I know this motor and I don't I know I don't need to check the oil every day and I know I don't have to check the coolant every day. Saying that, I also know she is losing coolant, so she might be, I can trust that motor to a certain degree. I know she's not gonna suddenly lose all, all that week. Also know she's not gonna lose its coolant or anything else. If I see anything on the ground, because quite often when I'm walking around the truck, I stand, walk back and I, I tend to look under the truck and you know, under the wheels there, under the motor, and you know, I look in a few places onto the ground now. When you pull up onto nice concrete ground, it's been pretty clean or bitumen, it stands out. Dirt hides it a little bit if there's any drips. But if I can see it, I know I've got a problem here. But I do check the tires every morning and I check them right off them at night. I check the lights at night because then you can see them a lot easier. Quite easy, you just turn them on, you don't have to do a full lap of honour. But I do try to check them when I first hook up to a trailer. Well, I think that's all I've got to tell you off the top of my head. Uh, I usually do things without thinking about it, what I'm checking and what I'm doing. Um, hopefully, that gives you some idea what we do first thing in the morning and what we're doing or during the day. Hope that answers some questions anyway. Please take care of each other. Be safe on the roads and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.